Now we're missing Hamish in studio today, but last week he went on a journey with a team from Mastercraft Kitchens to show off one of their incredible renovations for a client with great design flair. Let's take a look. We're in the beautiful Western Bay of Plenty, and with me is Kristen Reed, Mastercraft Kitchen's head designer. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. And we are sitting in a fantastic kitchen. I love this one. The brief was it had to be modern, yet be sympathetic to the era of the home, correct? Correct. The client had a really good idea of what sort of style she liked. So she worked with Jess Gordon from Mastercraft Kitchen's Tower on that. Sort of putting a modern spin on you know, a kitchen that is sympathetic to the era of the home. So what was here before? It was like a 90s style kitchen, like a modular sort of kitchen that you would see in any, you know, new build in the 90s. Sure. So it didn't really sit with the style and theme of the house at all? No, whereas this kitchen sits really comfortably in the home, um, they've kept a lot of the original features of the decor and added a few extra details in the kitchen that really complement the whole home and, you know, you'd be mistaken to think it's been here for many, many years. In a renovation, especially a villa, there's a lot of walls that can't be changed and you have to work within confined spaces that um, you know that would just have to stay the same but still want to be functional and I think they've really achieved that. A lot of the time there'd be an island we were sitting now but it's so much more comfortable to be sitting at this dining table and it really separates the working zones. We've talked about working zones a lot in the past but this kitchen really demonstrates it really well because we've got the cook and the clean up zone and prep happening over here. The client always wanted a separate beverage centre so you can make cups of coffee in the morning and you know husbands in the kitchen making bacon and eggs and you know those spaces are separate so that it's not ever going to be congested so even in a busy family home a smaller space like this is working really well for that family. The details for me is key in making this kitchen look like it's a part of the home, like the edge detail on the bench top. It's, it's not seen very often. It's amazing. What is the bench top made from? It's actually a difficult one to pick. This is actually granite, and this is a great granite to choose if you're wanting that marbly look. And simply the difference is, they're different stones. Marble is a less dense stone than granite. Is a better option if you if you are a keen cook like this particular client was. The splash pack is sensational. Tell me a little bit about it. It's just amazing. As soon as I walked into the space, I had to touch it. It's actually pieces of marble and brass all to form this pattern, which you can actually do either way, vertical or horizontally. But the way they've put it all together uh, looks fantastic, and it ties into a fireplace in the opposing room as well. Those things are just it's just key to getting it looking just bang on. And so what sort of things have they done in this kitchen to to make it modern yet still give it some old world charm? So within the corners we've got magic corners which are corners that pull out the blind part of that space which is in, sometimes can be a void. It's actually a set of sliders that come to the front so every inch again of that space is accessible. Okay, what about um, the finish of the cabinets? So the finish of the cabinets is a paint lacquer finish, which is great It's because, well, it's easier to clean, it doesn't have an embossed finish, so nice and easy to wipe down. But it's, you know, it's essential that they had paint lacquer in this kitchen because we've got so many details that needed to be painted, like cornices and skirting boards and, um, you know, all your panel doors, which, you know, they, they really make the look of the kitchen come together with a panel door. It's just the way it was back then and it looks great. Tell me about other features. Tell me about the, the, the handles on the cabinets. I love them. Handles are a detail that need to be carefully selected. There are actually four different handle styles in this kitchen. Can you believe that they are all perfectly fitted to the joinery that they are on? The client had a really good idea of what sort of handle she would like. She wanted a pull handle, but um, she was she didn't want the half moon style. So Jess took that as a challenge and found something that would be suitable and a bit more um, unique. And I think they fit the kitchen perfectly. And matching that to a recess handle into the doors gives it again that modern spin, ties it into the splashback a wee bit with that brass, and it really does it just pulls the kitchen together, comes together like a beautiful picture. Lighting's obviously very important, um, and I guess that's one of the modern things, isn't it, that's gone into this kitchen. Tell me a bit about lighting here. Multi-purpose LEDs, it's highlighting the splashback, which is a real feature of this space, but it's also task lighting for the bench below. We've got detail in the pendant lighting over the dining table, and that again is sort of walls without walls. It defines this dining space from the kitchen and breaks up the room. What's your favorite part of the kitchen? Me, I love the oven. The oven is a standout feature because it looks like a, an old range cooker and it's all very 
nostalgic looking, but it's actually got all the mod cons because we love induction and we've got an induction hob, you know, which boils water immediately and there's no waiting around. So we, I like the look, but without the um, fuss. Yeah, so it's the old look, but with the modern edge. That and the splashback really got me when I walked in. They're different uh, and it's so nice to see something really different as part of the kitchen. Yeah, I love that too, and I feel I think it really makes the home feel lived in. It doesn't feel, even though it's beautiful like a show home and everything's so well staged, it doesn't feel like a staged space. It feels like a home. It makes me feel like I could walk in and cook something. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Kristen, thank you so much for showing me through this beautiful kitchen. Thanks for coming along. I've loved being here, and it's going to be hard to leave. Stunning. Okay, if you're inspired, head along to mastercraft.co.nz for more and make sure to order your free 2018 lookbook for even more great kitchen ideas and inspiration.